you from God our Father and from the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. God said, let there be light, and there was light. And he separated the light from the dark. Because light and dark are, by definition, opposites. They cannot exist in the same place at the same time. And thus the themes of light and dark are found throughout the Bible. St. John writes in the first chapter of his Gospel, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. And again, the true light that enlightens everyone was coming into the world. And yet again, in our reading from tonight, Jesus says of himself, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. It is in fact Christ himself who brings light and life into the world. It is he who shines the light of God's grace into the darkness and brings salvation to souls benighted by sin and death. It is he who enters the darkness of the void of this fallen world to bring the light of hope, the light of comfort, the light of peace the fallen world. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. In, in holy baptism, he connects himself to us. In holy baptism, he has pulled you out of the darkness of sin. He shines upon you the light of life. He entered the world and the darkness tried to overcome him, tried to destroy him. The darkness tempted him in the wilderness and again in the garden of Gethsemane. And even death itself could not extinguish the light of Christ. For on the third day, the light rose in triumph over the darkness and shone his light into the hearts of men. This is a profound truth. And thus the church throughout the centuries has expressed these themes in many ways. In fact, in the early church, those wishing to be baptized were placed into a dark room as they renounced Satan and all his works and all his ways. And at which point, they then would enter the brightly lit sanctuary to be baptized. And then, as we do today, they receive a burning light to signify that they now lived in the light of Christ. In our liturgy for the Easter vigil that takes place on Holy Saturday, a new light is kindled outside the church, and the Christ candle is lit from it. And then it's carried in procession into the church, to the chant of the light of Christ. As following the dark darkness of Good Friday, the light of life once again enters his holy church. And the ancient liturgy for the service of evening prayer begins with the chant, Jesus Christ is the light of the world. And the response of the light no darkness can overcome. We live in darkness. We're surrounded by it. Like our first father Adam and all who came before us, we are corrupted by it. But into the darkness shines the light of Christ, cleansing us of the darkness, that we might live in the light of His truth. Light destroys darkness. And so Christ entered the world with his blood on the cross and destroyed the darkness of sin, bringing light where there was only darkness, light where there was only death. And in the season of Lent, we remember the darkness and we look to the light of Christ that leads us to mercy, grace, and forgiveness, that shines on us the very light of life. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. In Him we are clothed in His light, baptized into His grace, that we too may live in the light, His beloved children, unto life everlasting. Amen. The peace of God passes all understanding.
Keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Oh Lord, hear 
God. You led your ancient people through the wilderness and brought them to the promised land. Guide the people of your church that following our Savior, we may walk through the wilderness of this world to the glory of the world to come. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just words, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you.